Have you ever noticed that your eyes seem to get tired after being in front of a display screen for an extended period of time? Well, there's a reason for that, and it's called blue light. What is it? What can we do about it? Well, we have these glasses here, so they're gonna help. They're spectrum glasses. Let's get started. Headaches, eye strain, physical fatigue, and even mental fatigue. All things that seem to occur while sitting in front of a computer screen or other electronic devices for many hours. Why is that? Well, it all has to do with the thing called blue light. First off, what is blue light? Blue light is a color in the visible light spectrum that can be seen by the human eye. Blue light has a very short wavelength, so it produces a high amount of energy. Studies suggest that over time, exposure to the blue end of the light spectrum could cause serious long-term damage to your eyes. Your body uses blue light to regulate your natural sleep and wake cycles. Where is blue light found? Well, it's found everywhere, both naturally and artificially. One example of natural blue light would be the sky. An example of artificial blue light would be electronic devices like cell phones. Cell phones. So is blue light a bad thing? Well, it's not all completely bad. Blue light can help elevate your mood and boost awareness. But chronic exposure to blue light at night can lower the production of melatonin. Melatonin, for those of you who don't know, is a hormone produced by the body. Melatonin sends signals to our bodies and brains that it's time to get tired and go to sleep. Normally, melatonin levels begin to rise in the mid to late evening, remain high for most of the night, and then drop in the early morning hours. So in short, blue light means lowering your melatonin levels. By now, some of you are wondering what you can do about blue light. The first solution are blue light blocking glasses. Now, you may have seen people like pro gamers wear these. These ones here today are from Spectrum. Spectrum is a Canadian company started by two guys who couldn't really get away from their computers. Now, we have the Wayfarer and the Elite model here with us today. Both come in sleek carrying cases and come with a cleaning cloth and both of them well, they're both mostly made out of plastic. Now, both Spectrum glasses are quite comfortable to wear. I used to wear glasses, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. It might have been 17 years ago, but anyways, the glasses are lightweight. Now, I have never really noticed my eyes would strain after prolonged sessions in front of a computer screen, but I thought it would be interesting to try out these glasses anyways. During office hours, I would use the 50% blue light blocking wayfarers. At the end of the day, I would take them off, and my eyes did seem to be less dry, although I can't say for sure, because like I said, it's not something I really ever noticed before. At home, when it got dark and there was some sort of display in front of my face, I would use the 99% blue light blocking elites. After a few hours of wearing these, I definitely felt more sleepy at night. In fact, I fell asleep with these glasses on in front of my monitor, so... The Elite glasses are a lot more lightweight and more flexible compared to the Wayfarers. As you can see, I can bend them without worrying about them breaking, which I guess works out perfect for those times you pass out on your couch watching Crunchyroll or Netflix. So how do these glasses work? Well, obviously you need to put them on your face. But simply put, these tint the range of colors that you can see. The Wayfarers offer a minimum distortion in colors. Meanwhile, the Elites have lenses that are daisy colored and seem to offer more contrast. I will say that if you're going to wear the Elites on a regular basis, it will take some time getting used to. Especially if you're doing something like gaming just because everything is seen through the yellow lenses. The bright side is that your eyes won't be strained while gaming. However, I would not recommend these for anyone who works with colors like photo editors or video editors where color reproduction is very important. The Wayfarers actually might be a better option for that. Now, Spectrum glasses are also available for both adults and kids and also come in clip-on styles. They are priced quite fairly as well with the priciest pair costing less than $70. Canadian. So, you can look stylish whether you're working in the office during the day or enjoying some hardcore late night gaming, Spectrum glasses are a great solution for helping with eye strain and blocking blue light. I mean, you could wear sunglasses, but it doesn't really do the same thing, plus you look like kind of a big douche wearing sunglasses indoors at night. 
just, just my opinion. But for more information about spectrum glasses, you can click up here or the link down below. Another method you could try is to make a schedule that you can stick to where you can reduce your time spent in front of an electronic screen like a computer monitor, cell phone, TV, tablet, etc. For example, maybe commit to no screens after 11 p.m. If sticking to a schedule is hard and ain't your thang, try installing an app on your Android like Twilight using Night Shift on iOS and installing a program called Flux on your PC or Mac. These programs will help adjust the blue light levels in your device to not only reduce eye strain, but can also help you get better sleep. All right, that's it for this episode of Blue Light. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter right over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more of the videos like this from NCIX. Now if you excuse me, I gotta go frag some noobs.